Namaste and aloha. Our Diwali celebrations this year are going to be noticeably different than any other year. Many people here at home and around the world are experiencing great challenges during this pandemic. Whether it's difficulty paying the bills, relationship problems, stress, anxiety, or loneliness. Our society is becoming more and more divided. Everything is politicized as we are pitted one against the other along the battle lines of race or class, religion, gender, age, or values. Unity has given way to tribalism. The good of the whole has been replaced by what's in it for me or those like me. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can focus on the truth found in Aloha and Namaste. The truth that we are all connected, all brothers and sisters worthy of each other's love, respect, and compassion. So as we celebrate Diwali, let us remember Lord Ramachandra, whose appearance in this world and example can serve as a guide to us all. He never fails to show us where we should put our faith, our trust, and our hope for deliverance from even the most dangerous or trying of situations. While we may experience heartbreak or betrayal, the Supreme Soul, our Supreme Friend, He will never betray us. He will never leave us. His unconditional love for us, the shelter that He provides, His desire for our well-being is unflinching. And just as Lord Rama heroically rescued Sita from the clutches of Ravana, the Lord is standing by to rescue us from our difficulties if we simply take shelter in Him. As we light our candles on Diwali, let us all find inspiration in how the Supreme Soul delivers victory of light over darkness, of good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. I wish you all peace, joy, and comfort during these difficult times. Jaya Lord Ramachandra, Jaya Shri Krishna.